back to another review video. So this I actually got in one of my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus boxes, I think in the very first one that I got, and this is the Pure Big Look Mascara. And for the way that the little pamphlet talked it up, come here, come here booklet, for the way it talked it up it made it sound like the holy grail of all mascaras and the way that they just went on about it and even other beauty youtubers went on about it I was thinking okay that's cool that probably actually works really well <sighs> I've been playing around with it and I'm sorry this is not the holy grail of mascaras at least not for me uh, I will read you what it says first so it's valued at $21, which is already more than I'm generally willing to pay for mascara, but I mean, I got it in Ipsy, so whatever. But, um, Pure's products are formulated to live up to their slogan, all of the beauty you love, none of the, none of the ingredients you don't. They're full of skin-loving ingredients like pure shea butter, vitamins, and antioxidants. This mascara is infused with argan oil to condition and give your lashes a glossy patent leather finish. The molded wand evenly coats every last lash, including the inner corner ones. Love a dramatic lash look? This formula is buildable, so you can pile on as many coats as you want without it clumping. That last bit, though! Bullshit! Um, this, even under the best of conditions, with one coat, is very, very, very prone to clumping, and it pisses me off. Basically, the only way I think I lucked out today with um, them not doing it but usually with this stuff, I have to put it on and then go back in with a separate mascara wand just to get the clumps out, which kind of defeats the purpose. But um, the bristles on this wand, let me just show it to you, are very, very short. And I feel like that may be part of the problem. Maybe if they were longer, it would help. But like, okay, can you guys see that? I'm trying to... Not really. Okay. If I do it this way, you can see how short those are. That is really ridiculous that they are that short. I don't understand why. Most of my mascara wands, the bristles are at least twice that long. So I'm just like, what even's going on here? This stuff, it just, it wants to clump and cake up so badly. And I think depending on what exactly it is you're looking to gain out of using mascara, for half of people, it might be really great. For the other half, not so much. And if you're looking for both reasons, you're going to be disappointed. So if you're looking for volume, you will not find it here. It's not going to happen. If you're looking for length, though, this works really good for length. Because my natural lashes are very short and uncurly. And um, this is one coat. One coat, and they look like that. That's not too terrible, all things considered. Um... I didn't put it on the lower ones, I'll do that on camera and I'll probably regret it, but um, I actually haven't tried this on the bottom lashes yet, so I'm kind of terrified, but we shall see. Okay, yeah, you see like how much it wants to just clump, even like barely feather touching it. It just... I'm not that impressed with it, being very, very honest with you. I kind of break up the clumps a little, but I think it's just making them worse and more spidery than they were before. I mean, on one hand, I dig that I look kind of like Liza Minnelli with her fake lashes this way. On the other hand, it's so clumpy that I can't really enjoy it. There's some more baby hairs. Sorry that you have to see me this close up. Yeah, it is not great. Let's pull those guys out. Oh, no, 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 no. No clumps, no clumps! It's like, no whammies, no whammies! <laughs> no clumps, no clumps. I kind of look like Alice Cooper, because it looks like it's streaking even though it's not. Okay. Real, real light. Little feather touches. Okay, they're watching sports downstairs, in case anybody's wondering what all the noise is. Nothing's wrong, just a sports day. Okay. 
I feel like I probably need to go in with a q-tip underneath, clean up anywhere that I may have smudged onto my face. Um, I may go do that and come back, actually. Oh, dear me, okay. Okay. But yeah, that's generally what it looks like if you do it on your lower lashes. I'm trying to break those up a little. Come on, on clump. Get that and shoot. The other thing that bums me out is that this is not waterproof. They make a waterproof one, but they didn't send that one. That one would have done me a lot more good than this guy. But let me go check in the bathroom mirror real quick, see if I need to, you know, clean things up. I'll be right back. Okay, I went in, cleaned it up a little, tried to clump bust a bit, um... Looks a little better than it did, not by much, but, um, I mean, it's usable. I would definitely not pay $21 for this, though. If I could get it on and have it be this long of lashes and have it not clump up on me, that's the main thing. If I could get it to not clump up, I might be willing to pay that. And for it to be waterproof, that's the other thing. Uh, if it could do all those... I would pay $21 for this. As this, as is, I just, I can't. I cannot do it. Um, if this is like you guys' favorite thing, more power to you. Um, for me, it's just, it's another mascara is what it is. Um, another not waterproof one at that. But um, it's usable. Like I said, I played with it till I found a way to make it work for me. And that trick is to use the uh, second clean mascara wand to try to bust up the clumps a bit. I could put on one more layer of this, but even doing the mascara wand trick with that, it it does get sloppy, so I'm not gonna do that because I feel like I end up just wasting products, then I get mad and I wash it off and I start over, so I'm not gonna. So their claims about it being buildable feel like a lie. It's overpriced. It just, I don't know. I don't know. And then for it to not volumize on top of that, it just... It's not worth 21 bucks to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I'm not skilled enough. I don't know if it just isn't that good. But for me personally, I would rate this a 3.5 out of 5. It is not the holy grail. If it's yours, more power to you. You know, I'm happy for you that you can make it work for you. For me, I've got loads of much cheaper mascaras that lengthen and volumize and are waterproof that cost maybe a third of what this costs. Are they all natural ingredients? No, they're not. I will be honest, they're totally not. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, one thing to its credit, though, even though it's not waterproof, and even though it does smudge, especially if it gets the tiniest bit wet, do not cry with this on, do not wear this if you're gonna have bad eye allergies, but um, I know this is not the greatest thing because you're not supposed to sleep with mascara on, but... If you should fall asleep with it on, this actually doesn't smudge as bad as a lot of them do. You don't wake up as raccoony with it, so it smudges less. So for that, I will give credit where credit is due. But on the other hand, you're really not supposed to be doing that to begin with. So, But still, if you can sleep with it on, face down to boot, um, and have it not really smudge very much... That says good things about how it holds up during the day, so I do give it some credit for that. But on the whole, it just... It, it's not the greatest thing, but it's okay. Like I said, I will use it. I'll use it up. I'll probably try to use it up quickly just to get it gone and done. But, um, get it out of my way, because you don't really share mascaras. I'm sorry, you don't do that. So I can't even pass it on to somebody else who might like it more, but, um... Anywho, it is what it is. I'll use it up and that'll be that. So I'm glad it's mascara. I'm glad it's black. If it weren't black, I'd be real mad right now because I don't wear any that aren't black really. So anyways, that is it for me for this one. So as usual, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you guys used this one before? If you have, what were your thoughts? Was it your holy grail, or were you like me and you're just mm, about it? Um, am I doing something wrong with it, to why, and that's why it's not working? Like, let me know down below your thoughts about this at all. Anything across the board. Um, 
even things not about this, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. So anyway, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.